Creating a Student Progress Report in Compass. Creating a report in Compass. Let's start from the My Students tab. And from here, click on your class. Again, you need to have this all created. Under your class, you can check all. So I'm going to check all my students. And then go to the Run Report, Progress Reports, Oops, run report, progress reports, come over and down to student progress report. This is the one report we're going to set up and have sent to us weekly. Go ahead and press that. The report window opens up. We are going to spend time and set this up. Don't worry, we're going to do this once and it's going to be set up for the year. Under the student progress report, change this to weekly. We will set it up to send to us weekly. Date range last week. Under activity types we want to go ahead and keep all of those checked. Under repeated activities I would suggest using use most recent score. So if a student does take a quiz two times it will show the most recent. And for the last two, we're just going to leave those as they are, so that way we can um, see the summaries of any students and any data that's already there. These tabs show up across the top, and we will click through each of those and then hit Save. So click Save. You can save it now or later. Might as well get it done. Now click on the next tab, Curricula. This one, we'll just leave it all checked. Assignments, you can leave it at all work. The next tab is students. We already chose our students. That's set to go. Then click on schedule and send. We're going to spend some time here. Under status, this is the schedule, scheduler. You can turn it on. And let's run the report um, every week. Now, very important, you need to come back up here. Believe me, I've done this a million times. I forget to come back. Let's schedule it until the end of the year. So I'm going to click ahead and choose the, a date in the end of the year. Now, what day would you like it sent to you? If you want the Monday through Friday data, you might want to have it sent to you on a Saturday. It sends at about 2 or 3 in the morning. You can choose another date as well. Over here, your email should appear. If it doesn't, um, you can go ahead and put in an email. This is also a good location to put in any teachers who are working, who any additional teachers who are also working with your students or possibly extended day teachers or if you want the report to possibly go to an administrator so that they can see um, the activities and the reports on your students. Okay. Click PDF and then it will attach the report as a PDF and now we can save. So that is set. It's set to go to us um, every week on Saturday. While we're here, the next tab is Run. So we can also run this report, and you can come in any time. There's a quicker way to get here, but and click on Run Now. In the future, if you would like to make any changes, you can click on Reports, and this is under My Progress Reports. Here's the report. If you would like to change the settings, you can click on it, add a student, or change the date range. And if you would like to just come in and run it, you can click and run it from here. When you run the report within Compass, there are a few advantages. You can, as you can see, these blue scores, you can actually click and bring up the, the quiz. and on any of the activities that are blue you can bring up the actual activity. 
Here you can also sort one student per page. And then to print it, you would um, view it in a PDF. And that way if you needed a current report on a student, this would be where you could get that. In the future, if you would like to make any changes, you can click on Reports. And this is under My Progress Reports. Here's the report. If you would like to change the settings, you can click on it, add a student, or change the date range. And if you would like to just come in and run it, you can click and run it from here. There are tons of reports in Compass to be looked at at a later date, but this student progress report will get you conferencing, get data on your students, and I think it's probably the most helpful.